we've all watched, you know, with, with, with uh, you, you know, I mean, you know, welcome gladness what happened in relation to the, the Saudi woman, um, the, the human rights activist that was released after his intervention. Um, so that gave us an, an awful lot of hope. Um, and in, I mean, Tina won't mind me telling you that, that as soon as it happened, she sent me the messages and the smiley face, we need to contact Joe Biden. Um, and, and, and Tina's in touch with the, the, the sister of the, 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 the lady. Um, so obviously that for us, you know, as we, we, we said in pre our press release and, and, and elsewhere, you know, the only level of people that are going to have enough influence to effectively force Latifah's father to, to you know, open her jail are people like Joe Biden. Um, and there's, there's very few of them. Um, and he's obviously shown that he can do it with Saudi. And, and you know, for us, um, you know, that particularly, you know, I think certainly for me, you know, the, the Western world and America and England really need to be kind of leading the way in, in human rights. We took a joint decision to, to use this evidence to, to help her because we're extremely worried that she was caught with the phone and, and possibly she has ended up in a worse situation than she was before. After several sleepless nights and, and, and panic attacks and, and, and whatnot, uh, we finally came to this, this conclusion that um, we, 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 have to, we have to release some of this evidence. We have to fight for Latifa. That I think she, would, she, would, she wouldn't want us to give up. And I hope she hasn't given up either. So, you know, Even just someone sitting at home on their social media, you know, saying something, speaking up, talking about it, sending a message online to, 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 you know, to, to, to Dubai or one of the Dubai institutions, or someone you know, boycotting someone like Emirates or any of the Dubai brands or Godolphin Racing or you know, just deciding instead of going on holiday to Dubai, they're going to go somewhere else, but they're going to make what that decision is known to them. So I think that's why it's not, yes, we want the, the politicians, but as we've seen today, and, and I'll be a little bit not naive on this, but you know, one, one, one could suggest that the only reason the politicians are actually now doing something, because they've known about it for three years, is the fact of those videos that they have caught the heart of the world. Everyone is talking about them. Everyone can see the anguish and the pain in, 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 in the TIFA and they are making the politicians stand up and do something. So it's, it's really a call out as well as to the, to the decision makers. It's to, to every single man and woman to put them there. Because I think that's where the, where the 